Next, we shall discuss one method for priority based interrupt driven I.O. using hardware. This is a serial connection method known as daisy chaining which helps to handle multiple simultaneous requests based on priority. Here the multiple I.O. devices are connected to a common interrupt request line. If any one device or more than one device raise interrupt, that request will be received by the processor and if the processor wishes to service that request, it will send an acknowledgement signal through the acknowledgement line and that interrupt acknowledgement line is connected to all the I.O. devices in a daisy chain fashion. Means the acknowledgement line propagates serially through all the devices according to their order of priority. Let I.O. device 1 is of higher priority than I.O. device 2 which is of higher priority than 3 which is of higher priority than device 4. Hence, the acknowledgement line first passes through the first device or the highest priority device, device 1, then the second highest priority device, then the third and fourth. So how the priority scheme is achieved here? Let IO device 1 and 3 have raised their interest. The request will be received by the processor. If the processor wishes to service that request, it will send an acknowledgement signal along the acknowledgement line. For every I.O. device, there will be an acknowledgement input and acknowledgement output. If the processor wishes to service the request, the processor will send a high acknowledgement signal along the acknowledgement line and this high signal will reach the first device in the chain that is the highest priority device say IO device 1. If this device had interrupted or if it wishes to get serviced then this device can stop the propagation of this high acknowledgement signal to the next device in the chain by keeping its output as low. Thus, upon receiving a high signal, keeping the output low means this device wishes to get serviced and if this device had not interrupted or if it does not wish to get serviced, then it can propagate this high acknowledgement signal to the next device in the chain by keeping the output high. Hence, the high acknowledgement signal serially propagates through this device and reaches the next device input. And this device also had not interrupted, it does not wish to get serviced, thus it will also propagate the high acknowledgement signal to the next device by keeping the output high. Assume that IO device 3 and 4 had raised their interrupt. Now the high acknowledgement signal propagates through device 1, device 2 and reaches the input of device 3. But device 3 had interrupted and it wishes to get serviced. Thus, it will stop the propagation of the high acknowledgement signal to the next device by keeping the output low. And the device whose input equals 1 and output equals 0 will be the one who is serviced. Thus even though device 3 and 4 had raised their interest, device 3 will be serviced because it is before device 4 in the daisy chain. Thus here the priority order is determined by the order in which the devices are arranged in the daisy chain. The device which is electrically closest to the processor has the highest priority. If any device or devices raise the interest, the acknowledgement signal from the processor is first received by this highest priority device and it will pass the signal to the next device in the chain only if it does not require any service. And this is continued throughout the chain. So the device whose input equals 1 and output equals 0 is the one who is serviced and how does it get serviced? We are not using polling. The device should identify itself to the processor that is vectored interrupt approach. 
The device whose input equals 1 and output equals 0 only will proceed by placing its interrupt vector chord onto the data bus. The processor takes the chord which points to the appropriate interrupt service routine and it will be executed. Now, while the processor is servicing the request from device 3, suppose a high priority device, say device 1, raises its interrupt. How this priority based nested interrupt handling is made possible with the daisy chain approach. If a high priority device needs to interrupt, it can stop propagating this high acknowledgement signal to the next device by keeping its output low. So the low acknowledgement signal will now serially propagate through all the devices and finally reaches the device which is being serviced. And seeing a high to low transition on its input, this device can stop servicing its interrupt and eventually the control will be transferred to the higher priority device. Hence, in daisy chain approach, a high priority device, sorry, a low priority device can be interrupted by a high priority device and a low priority device cannot interrupt a high priority device. Also, it's ensured that for simultaneous requests, always a higher priority device will be serviced first. Now, compared to polling or the software based approach, once the chain is set up or the once the priorities are determined and once the chain is set up, this is a much faster method. And compared to the method of separate request and acknowledgement lines, here we need less number of bus lines or fewer wires. But there are some limitations. If any one device fails, it will affect the others in the chain. Also, the priorities are fixed and decided by the position. So there is one problem related to rearrangement of priorities. If priorities are to be rearranged, it requires rewiring. Changing priorities hence is a bit difficult. If priorities are determined on software basis, it would have been easy. So the other method is a parallel connection method where the priority determination, arrangement, masking of other devices, everything is made a bit easier.